Howdy folks, Moose here. Thought it was time for a little fireside chat about the beautifully balanced Nikon Z9. It's an amazing camera. I, out of the box, this camera for me became my best friend faster and, and more securely and more comfortably than any other camera I've had the good fortune to shoot with in my 40 plus year career. It's the reason why I've gone all mirrorless. That's all you're gonna find in my kit. Now the Z9, it's just a little powerhouse. And how it all works, I haven't really dug into, and I'll be honest, all the nuts and bolts behind the power in this camera. I know enough to help maybe you and myself make the most of this camera. That's kind of the point of this video. So if you're a devotee of my website, you know how much I depend on exposure compensation to bring out the emotion in a photograph. First aspect of the Z9 that kind of blew my mind was the fact that I rarely dial in exposure compensation. I don't understand what voodoo they did with the Xpeed 7 in the Z9. I just know that it nails my exposure the way I want to tell it the vast majority of the time. That means it's one less thing my mind is on a camera and more on the subject. That's critical as a, a visual storyteller. Now the file being produced and I shoot lossless raw, all that's being written to the ProGrade Cobalt 650 and 325 cards. That file out of the Z9 is spectacular. The prints, the 24 by 32s, which has always been my measure for quality, are just stunning. I mean, to me, almost off the charts stunning. My clients love them. That's really important. And that's all coming right out of the camera. Yes, I am, as normally, setting up the picture control. You can find my settings for the Z9 there on the website. It is just producing a file without my having to think about exposure and telling the story and getting the information that I want. That's the first part of this incredibly well, beautifully balanced camera that I love. Got to take a sidestep and talk about this dual stream Xpeed 7 Voodoo that is going on, which when you think about this camera, which is 20% smaller than the D6, how that's all in there doing this is beyond my mind. But you have dual streams. And the one stream is just taking the information right through the lens. And the lens you're looking at, by the way, on this Z9 is the 40F2. I love that little lens. The one stream of information is going right to that card, that ProGrade Cobalt card. Boom. The other stream the camera is using to do all its video, like, or it's all its voodoo. Video too. Voodoo, like I mentioned, the exposure. But the next thing we need to talk about is the autofocus. The autofocus on this camera is boggling my mind. It's the first mirrorless with 3D. And I was never a big fan of 3D until I got the Z9. And I'm using 3D about 99% of the time. And in 3D, you have auto, you have uh, human eye detection, animal eye detection, and car eye detection. Now, don't let get stuck on that eye detection thing. It's not looking for eyeballs, irises, and eyelashes and stuff. It's looking for those circular patterns. That's what's key here. Now, auto, if you put an auto 3D, it's going to pick up those other three possibilities, human, critter, or mechanical. The vast majority of time, personally, as you might imagine, I am in the critter mode. But I often use the car mode, shooting critters as well as aircraft and other mechanized moving objects. Now, one thing that's really can be confusing is all the options Nikon packed in the Z9 when it comes to the display. There's over 32 possible display information panels that you can see through the viewfinder on the monitor. And you can customize the bajiggers out of this thing, which includes telling you what the autofocus is seeing, what it's doing, the options it's giving you. There is, there is a ton there. I love that. 
and again, go to my settings, you can see the ones that I prefer. For example, where the red box, I have a green box for go, the autofocus is locked on, things like that. But more importantly, it's not the operation, but the final results. They're mind-boggling. I can tell you for a fact that on more than one occasion, the Z9 has got a series of photographs, tack sharp, instantly, I know I would not have had before. Now my handheld technique and my long lens technique, that's never been the issue. It's dealing with the brain and getting the brain to work fast enough to comprehend what it's seeing, locking on and doing its business. Well, the Z9, its brain is just amazing. And it's taken over a lot of responsibilities for my older feeble brain and the autofocus and the exposure, just two parts of that. Because now we have this ability to shoot a lot of frames and see all the frames we're shooting. So that dual stream I mentioned, you got one stream going just to the card, that pure information, bringing you that gorgeous file. The other stream going through the XP7 is what's doing so much of this voodoo. It's driving the exposure and the autofocus. It's also what gives us no blackout photography. Even with my love D, love, just just love my D6. Even the D6 had blackout. That mirror would come up, even for even a hair of a second would come up, and you would lose sight of your subject in the viewfinder. That's not the case with the Z9. You never lose sight of it, and so it is blackout free shooting, which means if you are panning with that plane, that bird, that wolf, whatever it is, you're going to see it the entire time. And it's got no mechanical shutter. This part boggles my mind. It screwed with my mind a lot. You can shoot 120 frames per second. Repeat that. You can shoot 120 frames per second. Yes, they're JPEGs. And not hear the camera take a single frame. It's because of that, one of my habits I've had to develop is whenever I, uh, I put the camera, uh, the one that's on the strap, on my side, I have to turn the camera off because it will fire off hundreds of frames as it hits my leg, uh, which has happened more than once. And you'll never hear that shutter. Uh, as you see from my settings, I do have a small visual and audible aid because uh, I got to have something to know the camera's firing. It's, it's part of the fun of it, but also to know uh, when I'm going to shoot. Uh, the camera that I shoot landscape with is set to continuous low, which I've never done before, because uh, you don't need, at least I don't need, 20 frames of a rock. So if you have it on continuous high, you can have 20 frames in less than a second. <laughs> it's mind-boggling. So this incredibly beautifully balanced camera is giving you exposure excellence. It's giving you autofocus that's off the charts. It's giving you speed and information that is almost like if you're in a, an F35, the heads-up display. I mean, you've got so much going on, and the beauty is you can customize all this. You can custom all, my, all of this, every button, to your heart's content. It means that this camera, which is just like any other Nikon, when you take it out of the box, everything is right there, familiar with it. You can, and this is essential, Make the camera yours. That's why I love it. I've, as you go through my settings, you see how I've programmed these and that and other buttons. So when I shoot with it, it's seamless. I don't think about it. I'm just able to shoot. And that's why I, just have my, I am so all over this camera. I love it. Now, what about video? Well, I'm, I'm, the video you're seeing was shot with my other Z9. And it does 8K. It does some incredibly marvelous things, which, yes, I use. But hey, I'm not a video expert. I can just tell you it produces a great video. It has autofocus that's working and all those great things. It's still using, you know, I love the fact that I can shoot through the viewfinder video and see the video as I'm capturing it. All those marvelous aspects. But it's really the still photography that is so important to me. And I want to emphasize this camera out of the box is going to be your best friend and you can make it yours and your best friend seamlessly so the most important goal i think of any piece of gear is coming through this beautifully balanced c9 
And that's the fact that you don't have to be a technician. You can be a photographer. You don't have to think about settings. You just think about telling the story. That's what makes this camera such a powerful one. The beautifully balanced Z9. It is my ultimate camera, my favorite, and one that, man, I just can't wait to get done with this video and get out shooting with it again.